Good morning, everybody. So guess what I'm doing today? I am going to go to 7-Eleven. Um, a lot of you guys have told me, oh my God, go to 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven. I already did it in Taiwan. I did it in Hawaii. So now I'm going to be doing it in Japan. And I got a request from Tara to get the egg salad sandwich. Um, apparently that one is like the best one with the tuna salad. So eggs, eggs, egg salad, and then a tuna sandwich combined together. That's gonna be um, the one I'm gonna be looking forward to. I've heard a lot of great things about it. I'm not too sure about how much footage I can actually get inside 7-Eleven and if there's any seating area. Um, I'm probably gonna get like a big hole, go back to the hotel and eat it so I'll be able to talk because um, from my previous experiences, I'm not exactly allowed to record and I don't wanna to be too loud in the 7-Eleven and talk to you guys. Um, you know, and trying to eat the food there and trying to do a mukbang inside the store. So we're going to go over there, explore around a little bit. I'll get as much footage, show you guys as much stuff um, as I can, um, get a big amount of food, go back to the hotel, and then we'll eat. All right? Sounds good? All right, okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, you guys, here we are, 7-Eleven up ahead. You know, actually, to my surprise, there's, um, from the area I was in, there's more 7-Elevens in Taiwan than I've seen in Japan. Actually, in Japan, there's more family marts, which is another kind of like convenience store chain here that's very similar. So anyway, let's go inside and check it out. That looks like, wow, that's a huge 7-Eleven. Look at that. Wow. All right, you guys, there is a little seating area over there that you can eat. There's hot water over here. All right, let's start off with looking at the drinks. So with the drinks, ooh, they got like yogurt drinks and stuff. That looks good. Fanta, water, so much different varieties of teas. Energy drinks. Ooh, this is all the beers over here. <laughs> Look at the selection of ramen. Oh my God, there's so much different types. God, definitely gonna try ramen out. Ooh, maybe we've got a curry flavored ramen over here. There's some yakisoba. Ooh. All right, I got myself one of the shopping carts. Ooh, what's this? Is this medicine? I have no idea what this is. Looks like some kind of energy drink slash medicine. Um, never mind. Looks like it's medicine. <laughs> All right. Okay, for the um. I, okay, this one caught my eye just because this one looked like it looks spicy and looks kind of like Chinese noodles. So I'm gonna try that out. Put that in there. Which one of these would you guys try? Actually, you know what? Let me try the 7 Eleven brand. Actually, no, this is 7 Eleven brand. Oh, these are all 7 Eleven brands. Deep fried. Oh, there's a udon one. Oh, what's Kansai style? Oh, okay. Um, you know what? Let's try one of the um, udon ones. All right, let's try this. I'm interested. Kansai style beef udon. Soy sauce ramen. Okay, we still have a lot of stuff to look at, so let's go down the aisle. These are all the hot foods over here. Oh my god, chocolate cream bun. We got chicken karage and stuff. We have like curry packets over here as well. Wow, so much different sauces. Alcohol on this side. Chopsticks. All these goodies. God, I love Japanese snacks. Oh, let's try one of the um, 7 Eleven salted corn snacks. That looks good. I want to try the 7 Eleven brand, that's why. Oh, wait, this one looks like a pizza. That's a pizza snack. That looks good. Ooh, okay. Wow, these are all like really interesting looking. Huh. Wow, so much different stuff. Salted potato wedges in a bag and the mommy snacks. That looks good too. Tokyo mix. What is this? Caramel cheese kind of Chex mix. Huh. Wow. I don't even know what to get. <laughs> Actually, this is very interesting. Never had Ed the mommy snacks. I'm gonna get one of this. I'm hiding in this corner so he won't see me record. But um, this is one of the very popular ones here too. These like salty snacks, salty soy snacks. I'll get a smaller pack. I'm gonna try out this one. Salty soy snack. Okay. And they have all of this. On this side they have all the candy and chocolates. Wow. I 
don't even know what to get. This looks good. Ooh, that looks good. So many like different color biscuits. Cookie biscuits. Okay, we're gonna get one of those. Japanese people love their ice cream. Look at all these different ice creams. I think this one's Look at the spread of ice cream. Oh, I love this one. Let's get one of this. Yeah, I think this section is super cool. These are hot. This whole section, these drinks are hot. So that's hot milk tea. Isn't that awesome? All right, here we are. These are the bentos. We've got onigiri and we've got sandwiches. Okay, where's the egg salad and the tuna salad one that everybody keeps talking about? Is it this one? No, that's shrimp and broccoli. Huh. Interesting. I don't see it. I don't think they have it right now. I'll go to a different one. There's another one close by that I'll grab, grab some. Let's get some bento over here. Look at all these. These all look so good. Pasta. There's pasta here too. Look at these meal boxes. I don't know which ones to get. They all look so interesting. Oh, they even like have salted soft boiled eggs here too. Okay, we're gonna get some onigiris for sure though. These look good. Mushroom, pork filet. Okay, I'm gonna get this. That looks good. Pork filet, grilled rice ball. some onigiris we got salmon Ooh, boiled beef yes that looks good tuna mayonnaise okay tuna mayonnaise let's get one of that all right looks really good that looks very interesting what's this looks like they really like their spaghetti i'm gonna try this this one looks really good looks like curry rice with some chicken and spaghetti This one looks good too. Pork. Oh. oh, this is so cute. It's like a little packet of um, bento. Adorable. Some salads here as well. Some gyozas. Some, oh, smoked fish over here too. Oh, this is the infamous natto, I believe. I cannot eat natto. Don't make me eat it. But if you guys want to try something really Japanese and very acquired taste, that's what it is. Oh, I need more of this. This is dangos. I love dangos so much. It's like a sweet soy sauce mochi bowl. Ooh, and some drinks here. Okay, I love this. This is um peach water. Peach water is so good. I'm going to get one of this. And it's only $1. These are actually really cheap. All these are like $1. I'm gonna get another one to pair my food with roasted green tea. Yes. All right, definitely got a good haul. We're gonna go check this out and then we're going to the other seven to get some hot things. Really cool. Oh, wow. Can I? This is Oden. Oh, soup. Um, this one? Uh, this one's fine. Yeah. They're actually really cool. Yeah, that one's good. Oh, oops, that one? Yeah. An egg, and then daikon, and a noodle. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I gotta get a bigger bowl. That looks really good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Wow, yummy. Yeah, make it open. Yes, please. Yeah. Ooh, cool. These are the. Uh, items you can get at the old end. Yum. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And there's some condiments over here too. So I guess we'll get some. I'm not sure what it is, but we got a big haul. Look at all these snacks and foods and drinks. Yum. I think this is so really cool. They have hot tea. All right, guys, not gonna lie. That guy was actually super cool with me uh, recording right in front of his face while he was getting me some Oden. Um, by the way, Oden is, um, I didn't say it so clearly in there, but it's a very popular kind of like Japanese soup, very light clear in the broth with like a radish flavor. Um, and it's filled with like fish cakes. You choose the pieces, noodles, all kinds of stuff. And it's a very light broth. I actually really love Oden more than um, ramen soup. Um, but yeah, I didn't find any 
egg salad tuna sandwich so we're actually gonna go explore family mart a little bit which is like i said it's basically the same thing and it's also very popular so i want to show you guys around see it's not much different it really just looks like 7-eleven um but yeah we'll, we'll go grab the sandwiches over there all right you guys so up ahead you see family mart i actually see family mart a lot more um often than 7-eleven but it really just depends on the area i'm in um but like I said, it's another popular one. Another popular kind of like convenience store in Japan is called Lawson. So I think that's the th three most I've seen. So let's go inside and check it out. Okay, same thing. A lot of ice cream choices, drinks. Oh, we have We gotta get some Pocky. Yes, we gotta get that green tea Pocky over here. Yes, we didn't get Pocky at the other place. All right, let's get the sandwiches. Dude, there's no tuna. Wait, is the tuna really all sold out? Wait, is this it? Oh, that's not it. Huh. You know what? We'll get this. This is the closest thing I can find, I guess. This is the egg salad sandwich. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, let's get that. Huh. Oh, wait, 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 I found it. This is like the super deluxe one. So this is everything. It's a chicken katsu, ham, egg, eggs, tuna sandwich, and egg salad. So we're gonna get this. Awesome. All right, mission complete. All right, you guys. So I actually wasn't supposed to film there either way, but I didn't make it. I made it a little bit more discreet. So I think lesson learned from now on. If I ever want to film at these convenience store, I just have to not blast my voice out there, which is what I did when I first did the 7-Eleven in Taiwan. I just kind of went in and kind of like spoke really loud. Oops. Um, but yeah, um, everything cost around $40, so about 4,000 yen. And we got a lot of food. Um, and I'm really excited for that sandwich. It literally has like everything on there. Ham, cheese, lettuce, tuna salad, katsu, and egg salad. So that's gonna be an epic sandwich. Anyway, all right, I'm headed back to the hotel and we're gonna eat all this food maybe not all of it not all the snacks and stuff but we're definitely gonna sample it and i'll show you guys um what's pretty cool about it because i do have a challenge later so i don't want to eat all the snacks and stuff too so anyway let's get back i'm pretty hungry right now <laughs> all right what's up guys just got back cannot wait to try this out let me put my hair up and we'll start unpacking this my goodness i got a lot of stuff Whew. So I got some hot water boiling already for the uh, cup of noodles. These are the drinks. Peach water. Peach water is amazing. Hot milk tea. Let me open these up. It's so cool. So, um, like these cartons, they give you like huge straws. You can just put it in there. That adorable. So cute. I love how the convenience store like. Um, they give you like all the utensils and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Actually, maybe I should put it behind here so it doesn't block all the food. Um, we got a lot of snacks. Chocolate. Pocky. Pizza chips. The soy crackers. I'm gonna open this. This is a this is like a really spicy kind of like instant ramen thing. What's even got? This is a this is the uh, Kansai style beef udon. This looks pretty good too. Okay. We got more chips. These are uh, salted corn snacks. We have got the infamous sandwiches of Japan. We saw these in Taiwan also. We got edamame snacks. Oh, this is really good. This is a red bean and mochi ice cream. I've had it in the States before. They sell it over there. Got some napkins and stuff. See, look, they pick you chopsticks and everything. Rice balls. Onigiri. I love this so much. I could eat this. I could do a challenge of this, honestly. Dangos. Dangos are so good. More rice balls. What's it for this one? Oh my god, we got so much food! Okay. I don't know how to like position this one. Okay, and then we got this really nice looking um, bento box. Let's open this. Ooh, it, yeah, it's curry. I smell the curry. It's curry rice. 
the heat it up for you too. Ooh, look at that. That oh, pretty good. <laughs> I feel you know what this feels like? This feels like college. I just have a whole bunch of like random um convenience store foods everywhere. Oh and this is uh this is the uh old end packy for you in this nice little cup here. Okay. Alright. That's my spread. Okay, let's start off by making uh, the cup of noodles first. Ooh, ooh, look at that. There's so much stuff in that cup of noodle. See that? Huh. And it looks like um, there's like extra seasoning on top. I guess I'll put that in. This is the spicy oil. Oh yeah, this is the spicy oil. Okay, I'm kind of scared. This one looks really spicy. Ah, water's boiling. Oh, that, that rum looks red. Okay, cover that up. And then we got the uh, udon, of course. Ooh, they got dried up pieces of beef in here. Oh, very interesting. Add that water in. Okay, that's cooking. All right, let's start off with the oden because I am so excited about how Oden tastes at a convenience store. Ooh. And they gave us like, this is like little condiments. I don't even know what this is. I just want to try it. Oh, this is wasabi. Okay, yeah, you eat this with wasabi and hot mustard and stuff. That's what it is. Preparation for our Oden is done. All right, I got my chopsticks. Ooh, this smells so good. Mm. All right, let's try this noodle piece. Ooh, wow, the broth is actually really good. Mm. It's honestly like a perfect breakfast. I think they eat it for breakfast here. Yeah, I would eat this. It's very healthy too, okay. Let me eat the oh so famous sandwich. So, the best combination I've been told is the tuna and the egg, which is on the left side actually. So, yeah, this sandwich is really cool because it's just like a combo of everything. So, this is the tuna and egg sandwich. Oh, it smells really good. Mmm. Wow, that was a super creamy sandwich. Mm. Wow, this sandwich is literally just melting your mouth. For a convenience store, this is a really good quality sandwich. Mm. Check out some soup. Mm. I love, love, love how it's crustless. Mm. And this side we got a ham and egg sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. This is like, honestly, this is college heaven. <laughs> I was eating stuff like this, eating at my desk all the time, studying. No, not studying. Who studies in college? Playing video games and eating all this junk food. Well, not junk food, just quick food, you know? Mm. Alright, this last piece is a katsu sandwich. Wow. Just like some egg on the side too, like an egg salad, kind of. Mm. 
All right, completely killed that sandwich. Let's try this um, huge piece of white radish. Ooh, that just melts in your mouth. Mmm, that is delicious. Okay, I'm really excited to try this. This is the uh, curry and I guess spaghetti and chicken platter. Let's try some of the curry rice. Mmm, wow. Almost tastes like curry fried rice. Mmm. Looks like there's some cheese on the spaghetti too. I like how there's just like a, this is as much spaghetti as I give you. That's funny. Oh, it's not cheese, it's mayonnaise. This whole thing is just like a really interesting combination of stuff. Sweet fried chicken, a bit of spaghetti, mayonnaise, pickled ginger, and some curry rice. I guess they figured you had enough carbs from the um, rice, so they didn't put much spaghetti. Mm. The chicken is good though, very juicy. I love that soup. That soup is so good. Peach water is um, <clears throat> it's not exactly juice. I feel like it's um, more sweet than juice. It's hard to explain. I guess you could kind of say it's like peach juice, but it is amazing. If you get, come to Japan, you have to try peach juice. That shit's bomb. Okay, finish this rice here. I'm actually pretty surprised I'm eating curry still. In the past three days, I've consumed at least 15 pounds of curry already. I, I had spicy curry, I had a curry challenge, and then another curry challenge. And after this trip, I don't need a curry for like another year. <laughs> okay, let's try this out. I'm really interested. Kansai style beef udon. Should be done by now. Doesn't really seem like this is udon though. That's not the typical udon I'm used to, but let me try the flavor. <sighs> nah, it's all right. I would give it like a three out of 10, honestly. It's a little bland for me. It's pretty cool though. There's um dried up beef pieces in here. Okay, and this is what I want to try. This, ooh. That looks spicy. It's just a whole mush of spicy goodness. Ooh, it smells spicy too. It's got like tofu and a lot of veggies. All right, let's try this out. Oh yeah, it's definitely the Chinese flavor of the spicy stuff. And it does pack a kick. I'm in a spicy mood, so that is delicious. I'm gonna eat it with my old den white radish cake. Mmm. This vegetable just melts in your mouth. It's so good. All right, let's try one of the onigiris. I love how they have it easy open from the top. You just pull it down. Pull it to the side. Okay, I kind of messed it up, but man, I always mess up stuff. You know, I I can just never get anything right when opening up these delicate things. Okay, well, at least I didn't completely break it apart. Okay, <laughs> let's try this onigiri. Mmm. Mmm. The tuna salad in there is good. Oh, the tuna salad in there is really good. Mmm. Wow. 
And it's so creamy. I'm dumping it in here because it's a bigger bowl. It's easier to eat out of. But yeah, I definitely like that. I honestly don't like this one too much. I don't know if I'm going to eat it all. Oh, okay. Well, this is also really interesting. This is a grilled rice ball. So it's the onigiri, but then they grill the rice. Sounds very nice. I wonder if there's anything in it. I don't know if there's filling. Oh no, it's literally just a rice ball. It's just a block of rice. But with soy sauce! And it's grilled! It's not even crispy or anything, it's just... It's just rice. That's okay, the flavor is really good. Mmm. It's actually very addicting. You're like rice. It's really good rice, okay? I honestly don't even eat that much rice at home. I have eaten so much rice on this trip already. All the curry challenges, oh my god. There's so much rice. Mmm! Oh! Mm. Mm. This piece has a fish cake with a sausage inside. Mmm! I mean... Yeah, let's try this other one. This was another rice ball, but it has um, pork filet in there. Easy carrot at the top. Let's try it. It's not, it's not like a huge piece of pork. It's just like little pork pieces. I feel kind of scammed, honestly. It, it tastes like fried rice in a ball. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like fried rice. Just more rice. It's good though. Yeah. Japanese people eat a lot of rice. Jeez. Actually, Japanese people eat a lot of carbs. Noodles and rice and noodles. And rice. Let's try this egg. Mmm. Okay, I don't like soft boiled eggs, so I'm happy this one's actually a full boiled egg. What's this one? Oh, this is the beef beef soy sauce onigiri. Okay. Round two. I hope I don't mess it up. Okay, where is the easy open? Okay. Okay. All right. Step one is done. All right. And then like this, right? Okay. I did it better this time, right? Enough, good enough for me. Okay, let's try the beef one. I surprisingly actually like tuna one a lot more. I just because it's more creamy, it makes everything go down a lot easier. This one, honestly, I can barely taste the beef. Yeah. Mm. 
barely taste any beef. But beef is like a sweet soy sauce too. Alright, I'm gonna leave the rest a little bit. I'm gonna just leave it out. I'm not gonna eat this one, sorry. This one, I, I don't like it. Ugh. Okay, on to my favorite part. <clears throat> Dangos. So these are mochis. Sweet rice cakes. Sweet sticky rice cakes in a sweet soy sauce glaze. Mmm. Mmm. These are amazing. I think you've if you watch anime, you've probably seen people like selling dangos on the streets and stuff. This is what it is. Mm. It's a very sticky texture and the outside is kind of like a uh, honey glaze. It tastes like a honey glaze. With a hint of salt because it is soy sauce. That was my ex's grandma's favorite dessert. Mine too. Okay, should I try some snacks? Um, okay, I really want to try this pizza snacks. Pizza flavored snack. I know there's like pizza Pringles, but let's see how this one tastes like. Damn it. Mmm. Ooh. Look at how much flavoring there is on that. Yo, I like my snacks. That's good. I'm just gonna sample a little bit. This is a uh, edamame chips. I'm probably gonna throw this one away. Do you hear that sound? You hear that sound when it goes in my mouth? It just tastes like paper. I don't like it. Um, let's try this one. Salted corn snack. Ooh, this one's puffy. Reminds me of a um big cat and crunch. See that? Mmm! It tastes like a huge cat and crunch. Wow. It's like cereal. That's pretty good. Okay. This one is a really popular flavor in Japan. It's like salty, sweet rice crackers. <clears throat> yeah. They have like big sizes of this, different shapes. Mm. These are good. Do you want to try like a one of the most popular Japanese snacks? Find something similar to this. It, they come in like so much different varieties. This is only one of them. But the flavor is basically the same. Salty, crunchy, fluffy. Mm, awesome. Okay. What else do we got? We got some matcha pocky. Oh, that was actually a little spicy. I like it. The pocky here and... and Japan is so good. I mean, obviously, because this is where it originated from, but never had Pocky? You gotta try it. Mmm. Alright, let's try these biscuits. I got this because there's so much different colors. There's milk, white, matcha, and strawberry. Look, look at all these colors. Isn't that cute? Alright, let's try a matcha one. Just because matcha Japan. Oh, it's like really killy packaged too. Look at all the sakura petals. Ooh, I like. Look how cute this is. It's adorable. Mmm. That is really good. The biscuit is so soft and buttery. Mmm. That's good. Oh, yeah. Let's try some hot milk tea, too. That's good. I think this is the craziest thing. Isn't it cool that all those drinks in that one fridge is all hot drinks? It's insane. All right, 
Let's try the dessert. This is a um, mochi red bean strawberry ice cream dessert. Ooh, it looks very cute. Red bean and then strawberry ice cream on the bottom with some mochis on top. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Wow. Uh, honestly, ice cream is like a big deal here. Oh my god. And um, there's so much different ice cream options. And uh, excuse me, hold on. And there's like ice cream vending machines everywhere as well. So I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that Japanese people make bomb ice cream. This is so so creamy. Mmm. And it's not overly sweet. And the mochi toppings are amazing. Mmm. This is so good. You were fine. Okay. Alright. Well, I don't want to eat like everything because, like I said, I have a burger challenge later. But, um, that was pretty fun. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, but yeah, you see the 7 Eleven in uh, Japan or 7 Eleven in um, Asian countries are like so cool. There's so much of. I think they're just cleaning the I'm freaking out. I think they're cleaning the room next door. So I was like, what is that noise? Anyway, sorry. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, hey guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much much watching guys see you next time bye bye